Hello my people, welcome to the SCORE channel, welcome to the internets, we're back to live streaming on the Mondays! Feels good, feels good to be back. I was in the United States for about a month and uh, doing a whole bunch of recordings for the university tour that I did, uh, so if you guys wanted to check that out, make sure you're subscribed here, and you guys can watch as I upload more videos every Thursday. I got a ton of stuff in the can that I need to finish producing, so I'm going to be very busy. Uh, but not too busy to get back to live streaming, and I wanted to do it a little differently. You know, normally I'm here answering questions, addressing your issues, but I thought we should just have a little bit of fun, because like we're near the off-season right now, okay? So let me just show you what we got going on today. We're going to be playing some Sims 4, and in particular we're going to be focusing on the Discover University pack. I, I wanted to play like a university-related game, so that's what we're going to do. And it got me thinking like... What could we play, right? There's not a lot of university-themed games out there, to be honest, uh, but I did think about this, right? This idea of The Sims, because every Sims game since Sims 2 has had a university expansion, and just a couple years ago they released this one, so I thought it'd be kind of cool to play around with that a little bit and see like if we could make <laughs> the score Sims go to college, if we could figure it out. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna hop in here. I already kind of set up my game a little bit. Um, it should be running fine here. I think we got the score family, uh, which features me, Gustavo, and Pilar. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, Pili and Tavo's face when they see this. Um, very very basic layout so far. I haven't done a whole lot of world building. I'm just gonna get into like the family that I made here. I'll show you who we got right. Um, and, and I just set up enough living space for these people to exist and because I'm gonna be sending my guy See there, there's me. There's there's my equivalent here in the game. I think it's pretty cool um, There's our there's our like version of Tavo the closest thing we could get to him I think it was I think it was pretty decent. I didn't put a ton of effort into it. Honestly I, I really wish they had more options for the buzz cut like I feel like they give me more hair than I really have I think you should be able to like brush out where you're going bald too, like me. Um, but you know, I, I get what I get, right? Um, and then we got, there's there's Peely in there. Peely's doing Peely things, just just hanging out in comfy clothes like Peely does. Uh, we got a little, uh, just a very simple home. I, you know, Peely and Ty will be married. I gave them the double room. The Score family lives together. And then we got, uh, you know, two bathrooms. Um, I figured Peely should get her own bathroom. That just seemed fair. Uh, and then a little kitchen living space here, and, and that's just all we got here. It's a very simple environment. Um, I think there's probably some things I still need to get, actually. Um, like, I, now that I think about it, I don't think I have a, a trash can or anything, so we might have to buy a couple of items here. Let's just take a quick look around. I, I think there's, yeah. I think I need, like, garbage, trash cans, yeah. Um... That would be good. We should have a trash can in here. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll put it right there. That seems reasonable. Um, all right, so we got a little trash can. We, you know, it's always good to have a trash can or two in the house. Um, and then I think all we really need from here is some lights, too. I didn't get into lights yet. I got to finish building out this place a little bit so that it's presentable to you guys. Um, I've always been a fan of ceiling lighting in this game just because, like, you know, it's going to be easier. And I'm not spending a whole bunch of time on the on the design. I'll be honest. I'm not. It's not my priority here. Um, maybe maybe we'll get there. Yeah. Well, one of these. A couple of those. Yeah, I always like those. We'll put a couple more of those up top here. So, these are the lights I wish I could put in my house, but like concrete, man, it makes it hard to work on things in your house. Uh, let's see. This little fluorescent seems useful for like above the shower. Yeah, we'll put it on that side. Put one on like each side. Cause you know, your sims get really moody if it's dark. Like they, they really don't like it when it's dark inside. And I always feel like that's lame. Like it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Enjoy some darkness. But everybody's different, I guess. So, um, yeah, maybe, maybe like one other lamp, a, a lamp or two, like I got this lamp. Yeah, that's a lot of lamp. That's pretty good lamp right there. Liking what I see. All right. Also, we got the chat open. If you guys want to say hi, like say hi to the chat, you know, because I haven't talked to chat in so long. I've missed you guys. Uh, so say what's up. And, um, yeah, we can do that. Put like two of those up there. It's there. 
Our home is now lit. Alright, so that means I can probably just go back to what I was doing here. Let's, uh, let's turn the speed on. Peely needs to get a job. Because these guys got to pay for my college education somehow. I don't think that The Sims is, like, socialist, so... Um, let's see. Alright, find a job. Yeah, I told Peely to find a job. Um, okay, start a career for Peely. Alright, so... I feel like with Peely, like, there's so many options. I mean, I could give Peely all kinds of jobs. Um... Secret agent, social media, style influencer, writer, babysitter. That's basically what she does every day. Um, you know, just babysitting people. Uh, so that's something. Um, what else we got here? Barista. Lifeguard. No, I don't see that. No. Politician. No. I think, I think, like, I think we could make Pili. I mean, Pili studied engineering, so it seems pretty reasonable. And that's a high paying job. So we want that. Um, let's get Tabo employed. I need to get him employed too. So, should Peely get a jump start and accept the assignment? Yeah, Peely, get to work. Make yourself useful. Like, you know? Alright, wait, wait, wait. We already did that. So, we're good there. Um, okay. Yeah, so, alright, career for Gustavo. Now, I mean, we could just play the same move and be like, alright, Gustavo, you're getting into law because... You are trained to be a lawyer. I think that would be fair. At the same time, I feel like business could be interesting. Um, is there like an entrepreneurial setting here? Because if there is, that would be dope. Uh, freelancers, kind of like that, but not exactly. I would give them maybe like, what else would be good? I could see Tyler like writing books, um, just going full sock med. There's like... My man Tavo has so many skills, it's hard to pin him down here. But I think I think we'll keep it simple. We'll just send him to law. You guys are both going to work Monday to Friday anyway. That'll be good for your relationship. You know, I don't want you guys to like break up or anything. Um, yeah, get to work, Gustavo. Like, make yourself productive, all right? Now, um, yeah. Let's uh, debate the existence of vampires a little bit here. Um, apparently, that was the topic of conversation. And I feel like, you know, vampires are not really a thing. So we shouldn't worry about that too much. Um, so I don't know what I got to do exactly to get into college. I got to figure that out a little bit. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. Um, yeah. Mariali, I don't know if that's you. If you're on the stream, you just wrote me Sims. It's not Sims. It's Sims. <laughs> Sims and Sims is a big difference. <laughs> um... Okay, how about? All right, so let's see. What else can I make me do? Um, yeah, hang on. Oh, I, oh, that's right. I was uh, controlling top. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, let's let's get out of here. Um, oh, we're we're probably gonna need like a computer or something too. I actually realize I have no means of communication in this house. I have no computers. I have no lights. Uh, or no, uh, no books, no like, yeah, all the classic things that teach you how to do stuff in this game, I have not even started there. All right, so, oh man, this computer's expensive. Dang, son. Well, the, the chip shortage, man. It's hard to find good computers these days. It's understandable. Uh, this one has a fun five and a three reliability, but the Milton word processor, more reliability, and it gives you lots of skills. Well, the other one gives you skills, too, I guess. Um, but I, I'd rather have the Milton. Oh, but you got to reach level 2 the writing career. That sucks. Okay. All right. So here's a crappy, like, pre-built Dell portable computer, though. Can I take it? Can I actually take it with me? Oh, it can. Okay, that's useful. i got to go to some college. I need a real computer, man. I need a laptop. So we'll do that. Um, whoops. Didn't want to move that out from under your butts. Um, I think, yeah, anything else, um, activities and skills, like, it's always good to invest a little bit in some of these things, like, you might get something useful out of this, um, there's a meditation stool, pop-up archaeology workbench, happy hands and feet chair, interesting, wellness skill, so there's some wellness things here that I haven't seen before, it's been a long time since I've played The Sims, man, I have not played The Sims in probably, like, 
I don't know, seven or eight years? Like, I think I played this one, the fourth one, when it first came out. You know, just when it first came out. And, um, and not since. All right, yeah, I think a little yoga mat in the middle of the room could be good. And, like, we could move this over a little bit. Yeah, we could have a little yoga mat in front of the TV. Like, if that's your thing. I don't see why not. All right. Let's get back to it. So, um, yeah, so we've got... Let's see. All right, we got me just hanging out. I'm feeling flirty, apparently. What do you want to do? Flirt with someone? I can't right now. Not with these two here. There's nobody else. Um, become playful. I am a mischievous character. Um, become playful. What, what could I do that would be... Oh, man, look, I can start getting into some hot topics with Tavo and Peely. That's pretty hot. Uh, but I don't want to go there. I think I think it'll be uh, better if I if I play around a little bit. Um, I don't want to... Oh, impersonate mermaids. That sounds fun. We can do that. Let's see what happens if I impersonate mermaids. Alright. So. Did I do it? Did I do the thing? I think I did. Yeah. All right. So Tavo's heading out of here. He's got things to do. What is today? It is Sunday in the morning. We got all day to do things. Let's let's go look at stuff. What can we do here? Um, university. That is the goal of this. Ostensibly, is for me to go to university and not just play The Sims, but actually. All right. Well. All right. Let's look at our options. We're going to go to university. We've got the option to research universities. That's pretty cool. We got the option to apply to universities for seventy-five simoleons. And we got the options of scholarships. So obviously first we got to start with research. I mean that's how it goes. All right, we got two universities in the Simverse. Let's let's check them out. We got the Foxbury Institute and the University of Brightchester. Um, I believe Maxis UK does do a lot of the primary work on the Sims, which is why there's so many weird British things in it. Yeah, see you, Billy. Uh, we'll talk later. All right, so let's see. What are we doing? What are we looking at? We're re researching universities. Let's see how, how good that research looks. All right, yeah, you can see some pictures and internet things. That kind of looks like that could be a university homepage. I can see it. All right, let's take a look at what we got here. The University of Brightchester holds nearly a millennium of history within its traditional halls of learning. Damn, dude, a millennium. That's like older than the, that's about as old as the oldest university on the planet, I think. Um, all right. Having taught every type of student from royal to unknown, the university prides itself in educating minds and morals, molding students into well-rounded and upstanding sins, ready to enter the world and make a difference. Isn't that nice? I think that's pretty nice. Um, okay, there's organizations like the Bright Justice Spirit Corps, the Art Society, and the Debate Guild. I do like the debate stuff. I could get into that. All right, I could get into the Debate Guild. That's interesting. Uh, we have degrees in biology, computer science, economics, physics, psychology, and villainy. Well, I think I'm going for villainy if I'm going to do that, obviously. Um, distinguished degrees. They have art history, communications. All right, there's distinguished ones and then there's regular ones. I don't know exactly what the difference is between these two, but I would look into that. I like the villainy degree, but I guess I could do like a distinguished degree in language and literature if I really want to follow my own like personal experiences in life. Um, all right, University of Brightchester. Interesting. Let's uh, let's research that other one. What's going on with the Foxbury Institute? Like, let's find out about that one. Let's see what Tava and Billy are. They're just sitting on the couch talking about stuff, feeling a little flirty. Um, what are our? Okay, Foxbury Institute. Consistently rated as a premier university, Foxbury Institute boasts a modern campus with impressive facilities and a broad swath of alumni who have emerged as innovative leaders in their respective fields. The university is always looking for students who dare to dream big. All right, cool. They got the Spirit Squad and the Brainiacs and the Bot Savants. That's kind of a cool name for an organization. All right, so like this is kind of like the tech school. Like this is like Illinois Tech, basically. This is the... 
smart kid school. They're distinguished. Ooh, they do the distinguished villainy degree. Oh, man. Oh, I want to get a degree in villainy. Um, that's interesting. All right, so... Okay, so it's the opposite. So the ones that are regular degrees here are distinguished at the other one and vice versa, which is a little weird because, like, I don't know necessarily. I mean, I guess this makes sense, right? Computer science and biology and physics would make a lot of sense at this place. So, okay, I see what you did here. You kind of made your, like, STEM school and your liberal arts school, and you're forcing me to choose. I find it interesting that villainy is the one that appears most in this school. Like, I'm, I'm kind of surprised that villainy is seen alongside STEM. But if you think about it, if you think about it, villainy is probably the most STEM degree there ever is. Because, like, think about it. You want to make traps to catch the good guys. You need engineering skills, right? You're going to concoct, like, a secret potion, or you're going to make a freaking missile or a laser. You need science skills, right? You got to do that math so you can run your evil lair and pay all of your minions. Like, if you think about it, villainy is kind of the most STEM career there ever was. I mean, I think it has everything. So, um, maybe I should go to the Foxbury Institute. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think about it. I mean, I don't have to go to college right now. It's, uh, it's Sunday, anyway. Um, maybe I should go visit the campus. That would be smart. I could go visit the campus and see what it's like. And uh, maybe that would, like, influence my decision-making a little bit here. Um, all right, it's about noonish. ish uh, How are we doing on our... Okay, Pilly has no skills. That's unfortunate. I disagree. I think Pilly has lots of skills. They just didn't get uploaded. Yeah, we want to keep tabs on everybody's body needs. Um... Let's see. I'm just apparently I'm just in my winter clothes now. I don't know why. Um, oh, I guess it's cool outside. Hey, let's talk to these people. Funny introduction. Go, 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 go. Talk to people. Let's make friends. <clears throat> you want to make friends? Whoa. Oh, that really was weird. That was disorienting. Holy crap. I'm first person. What is this? Is that first person person? Okay. I don't know. That was weird. Um. Okay. So, Pilly's coming out here to say hi to people. That was Tavo, I guess, that I introduced to those people. Um, yeah, let me let me go say hi as well. Funny introduction. Yeah. All right. And then, Pili, how you doing? All right. Let's let let's let's let Pili go. You know. I think everybody should always get their bathroom on. And as an engineer, she can upgrade stuff. I can tell her to upgrade things. That'll be cool. All right. <laughs> What's up? I meet people. He's uncomfortable? Why are you uncomfortable? Oh, from being outside in the cold? Yeah, that's understandable. You should, uh, you should invite them inside. Or, like, maybe just go inside. Um, sit and chat here. Yeah, let's bring them inside if, if they want, because nobody likes being stuck out in the rain. The rain sucks. Yeah, you guys can come on in. Let's, uh... Let's see, can we order a pizza? We have an impromptu party here. I mean, it just seems like the right thing to do. Um, Web, what, do, what can we do? Browse art, browse web. Can you buy stuff? Can we just, like, get a pizza? How do we do that anymore? Um, more choices. Open. Hire staff. Jeez, okay. Um, cook. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, nobody knows how to cook anything. Have lunch. Serve lunch. Um, I wonder if I need a phone for that. That's how this game used to work. Let's just see if, like, getting a phone does what I need because I think you could oh no wow telephones are dead um so how does one order that pizza um all right let's go back there's got to be a way to do this easily but I think um uh, household maybe it's household oh buy all these things geez I could just buy a restaurant Man, they've really added a lot of cool things to this. Um, okay. Computer security settings. Interesting. There's that. All right. Put in a... Okay, so I can't... Oh, order. There it is. All right, cool. Let's... Uh, oh, wow. Look at all these other things I can order. I can purchase fireworks. Jeez, that's dangerous. You just order fireworks from your the comfort of your home in this game? I can purchase crystals and holiday crackers and earbuds and... Where's, like, a freaking pizza? Like, I just want to order, like, food. Um, that seems like something I would want to be able to do on here. Holiday crackers. Oh, that's actually, like, literally, like, things that go boom. Um, alright. 
Yeah, watch me struggle to order pizza. Um, I really thought you could just go into order and do that. Medicine, okay. That's good to know that I can get that, though. Garlic seeds, upgrade parts. I can get parts from my computer. Um, all right, people are having a good time and talking. I don't know. Um, you would think that there would be, like, an option on here that would let me do that. But apparently not. I'm not seeing it. So, anyway, we can always... Uh, we always take a look around here. Maybe there's some other options if we, like, serve watch. I don't know. All right. Well, I could make mac and cheese for everybody. That seems reasonable. Um, is there anything else? Yeah, no. That's weird. I wonder what, like, I wonder if I have to go to the pizza place and, like, maybe get contacts or something. Like, that's interesting. I did not know that there was, like, no default option for that. But that's okay. We're going to figure it out. Uh, we're going we're gonna to make some food. Let's let's serve some lunch. Let's serve some uh, salad. Why am I sad? I want to cry it out. That's not me. No, we don't. No, we don't do that. No, no, hell no. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna go be playful. Um, I'm gonna trick him with the ham buzzer. I think that'll be funny. Marielle, you want your sim? Marielle, I will make you a sim for sure. Uh, Definitely. Yeah. Next week. Definitely. I'm going to send you. I'm going to make a sim for you. I want to keep expanding the score family here. Like, I want to make a sim for everybody in the, in the score team and, like, actually have all of you guys in here. <laughs> I think that would be so funny. So. Um, okay, Gustavo was, like, watching cooking shows. Smart. Good hustle, Tabo. I like it. I like it. Um, can you upgrade that toilet? No, you don't know how to do things. Um, but you know what you could do? You could go in here and maybe, like, read about stuff, you know? Could you read about that? Yeah, you could practice programming or something. That seems kind of cool. That sounds like a pilly thing. Um, any other stuff? My like household? Yeah. Um, whoa, geez, okay. You could actually get up and leave Tabo. That's not cool. We don't want to do that. That's pretty intense. Um, hmm. Vampire secrets. Why? Why is vampire such a thing right now? I'm a little concerned by that. That's the third vampire reference I have seen in a while. And it seems kind of strange to me that that would be a thing. But anyway. Um, oh, that's right. I did make Pili like a foodie person. So why don't you? Why don't you serve the food? Okay. And then we'll, we'll get you, you're less sad now, right? You're feeling better? All right, cool. Good stuff. Yeah. What else can you talk to this person about? Um, let's find out what they like. Let's talk about people's interests. Yeah, let's uh, speed things up a little bit. All right, Todd's making some grilled cheeses over here. Let's see how this grilled cheese is coming along. Pretty good looking grilled cheese. I would say... Solid work, and then he just doesn't eat it. The awesome power move where he's like, yo, I just put a grilled cheese out on the table. Anyone want some? Come get grilled cheese. You got to love that attitude. That attitude of like, I'm just going to go make grilled cheese. I don't care if anyone's hungry. It's out there for you. Got to respect it. I'm getting in on that grilled cheese. Go. Because this is what I do. I eat whatever I see. Okay, people? Like, if you leave food out, that's why I'm getting chubby. I, I was in the States for like three weeks. I was eating everything. My mom and boyfriend would call me the bottomless pit because I was. I was like putting down food with authority. That's just what happens. If you leave food around me, I will eat it. it. It doesn't matter. So my strategy for not gaining weight in Peru is just to not have food in the house. And then I like wait to the last minute. And sometimes I order stuff. And then when I order that stuff, it's like, you know, it's a question of will it make it or not. Did I get that order in in time? And then sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. You know, we'll see. I'm not a... I can't have a bunch of food in the house or I'll just eat it all. I'm telling you right now. I will, I will like, just devour whatever's sitting on the counter. If I have leftovers in the fridge, I'll eat them all the next day and be like, I could have made two days of food out of that, but nope, I ate them all. Man, that grilled cheese really filled me up. It's only half gone and I'm full. Oh, look at that. I'm almost full here, like, completely. So, you know, I guess I was a good grilled cheese towel. Well played. Nicely done. Look at him strutting his stuff. Just boom, boom, boom. Going to the fridge. Peely's over here programming stuff. She's hungry, though. 
All right, you need to you need to go make us some food. go go make us out. What is he eating here? Chips. Oh, he's just having some chips. They're vegetarian safe chips. That's good to know. If we have any veg, <laughs> I love that this game points that out. Ah. Vegetarian safe. All right, cool. Um, look at me just going to town on my my grilled cheese. Yeah, good job, dude. Oh, I need a dishwasher. Okay, or well, I could take that to the sink. I don't need a dishwasher. You know what? Clean that up, dude. Oh wait, no, not you. Yeah, no, me. Yeah, wash that. Bathroom sink doesn't matter. All a sink is a sink, man. All that matters is how you use it. So, cool. That plate has just been evaporated into that sink. I love that. I wish my sink could do that. I wish you could just like put the plate in it and wash it and then the plate would be gone and then new plates would spawn when you need them instead of actually like the way life works for real, which is like you got to put the plates back and you got to dry them off and that part sucks. You know, that's when the plates break, by the way. You think it's dry, it's not. You pull it out and bam, you crash your plate and it's broken. You know, people are making a delicious salad over there. Um, okay, I like where we're at. We're doing good. Um, we're gonna, we've already researched our universities, so we're definitely going to go to university. I'm still thinking about which one I want. I, I mean, I'm tempted to go with that uh, Foxbury because I like the, you know, I like the vibe. I like the idea that I could get a distinguished degree in villainy. I'm just not sure about the, you know, the other stuff. Like, I kind of like the idea of a debate club. I, Brightchester sounds like a nice place. You know, they've had royalty. Sounds like it's been... You know, a little more of a diverse crowd. Might be more interesting university. Might be some more cool stuff to see. But what we got to do, I think, is uh, after this evening, what we're going to do is go onto those campuses and check them out. I want to scope them out a little bit. I want to see what's going on with the campuses. I want to know which one is right for me. This is just like real life, people. This is exactly what it is. Like, you want to go to university, you got to check out the campus, got to do some research, do a little recon. See what it is for sure. Like, don't just trust what the website says. Go look at it. All right? That's why I'm visiting universities. I'm helping you out. Um, yeah, I released the Beloit College video the other day. That was fun. Uh, Beloit's a cool place, man. I, I, You know, I went to this, like, little bar in Beloit uh, called the Cheesehead Brewing. Brewing? I think Cheesehead Brewing was the name of the place. And it was weird because, like, I walked in there and you could kind of hear the record stop. Like, I walk in there and I'm the only guy, well, not the only guy, like, wearing a mask, but I was probably, actually, I think I was the only guy wearing a mask when I came in. And, I, but it was because it was cold outside anyway. And, like, I have my camera equipment, you know, so I'm walking around with, like, a big uh, camera and a gimbal. All right, they're having a nice conversation. Tabo and Pili are still together. So, yeah, I got this, like, you know, gimbal. I'm walking around with, like, a microphone and gimbal and everything, and I look pretty strange. So, like, you could just hear, like, the whole place get quiet for a second as they all turn to the door to check me out. And I sit at the bar, listen to the guy's story, talk a little bit, tell him about what I'm doing there. And everybody was super nice. It was super cool. And that's the kind of vibe you get in these small towns. It's like, people are chill. People are having a good time. I like that, you know? I enjoy that a lot. Um, all right, so I think the move here, let's see. Let's see how Peely's doing. All right, so Peely, you're all good. You got everything you need. Um, Tavo's getting a little sleepy poo. He should eat some salad. Yeah, grab a serving of salad, dude. Eat some food, Tavo. We need you to have energy so you can, like, run the business and stuff. All right, cool. I'm getting some cooking skill right now from just having it on the TV. I think that's pretty cool. What channels are we watching right now? Between TV, I see what you did there. Ah, comedy. Oh, dude. Mitra, what are you doing right now? What are you, what are you, get, out of, get out of bed. Wake up. That's not your bed, dude. Why are you... Oh, wait, no. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's me. What am I doing in there? Why are you in that bed, fool? Dude, you're going to ruin the whole sleeping arrangement. This is not supposed to be... Exactly. That's what I'm saying, dog. Get up. This is not where you're supposed to sleep, dude. You sleep there. I mean, geez, man. Of course, if I were Tao, I'd be pissed right now. Here's Micha just crawling into my bed, sleeping on my side of the bed, not even respecting my space. Yeah. Yeah, you two are married. Go be married over there. All right? Thank you. All right. If you're sleepy, then then, then go sleep. All right? Sleep here. Cool. And then we'll all wake up in the morning and go do things. There we go. Look at that. Look at that efficiency. That's what it's supposed to look like. All right. Good stuff. Pilly is good. Good Sims are happy when others around them are happy. Isn't that nice? I feel like that's an accurate uh, thing for Pilly. You know? Like, she's happy when other people are happy. She's trying to make people happy all day. Probably 
spends way more time on other people's happiness than her own, to be honest. That's the sacrifices we make for you guys. Okay. So yeah, they're telling me about these options by researching universities. Can I, can I research more? Like, is there more research to do? Let's see. All right. Let's research Foxbury a little bit more. Um, oh wait, no, no, no. I keep forgetting I gotta select my dude. I'm, it's so weird. It's been so long since I played this game. Yeah, so let's see if, uh, oh yeah, that salad got funky. We forgot to put that in the fridge. We'll have to put that. You gotta watch out for funky salads. Um, hang on. Yeah, Pili, tell you what, you, no, don't grab a serving. You know what? Actually, let's clean that up. Cause that stuff is, that stuff's gonna be bad. We don't want to eat the bad salad. Um, but what you could do is serve some breakfast. Yeah, you can make us some eggs and toast. That'd be cool. So, yeah. Todd was still getting his sleep on. That's fine. Um, all right. Let's see if there's any any new intelligence. Okay. All right. So it's the same information I got before. There's no new intelligence on the Foxbury Institute. You can only research these once. All right. Good to know. So if that's the case, if we only have like one researchy thing to do let's then we'll have some breakfast right well i'll put guess i'll tell you what why don't you go get cleaned up all right while we uh while pili goes and makes us some like breakfast because we need breakfast if we're going to be successful today um oh and that's right they have jobs now so hang on what why is she uncomfortable she has to go to the bathroom well yeah we'll go there in a minute all right we'll do that um what time is their employments Okay, they work in four hours. All right, they gotta be ready to go to work at nine. That's okay, we can do that. That's, that's no problem. Yeah, and then you you make your food. And when you make your food, you'll go potty. Tawa's in a potty right now, so that's fine. We, you know, can only have so many people in a potty at once. It's okay. We'll be all right. Yeah, and then... All right, this is going good. Okay, Pia's got level two cooking up here. I like what I see. All right, let's go with... Okay. All right. Yeah. Man, she is really having some issues with this here grilled cheese. She is fight. She's spilling the pepper or eggs, whatever the hell she's making. She is having some issues here. It is getting intense. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah. It's turning around. It looks good to me. I think it's ready to go. Go ahead and, uh, you know, get your bathroom on and then wash your hands because you just, you know, and then you can eat. All right. That seems like a good idea. Okay, you're going to be rolled. You're going to eat first. Well, here I am going. I'm being all depressed and emo. No, we're not. All right, you want to do a pep talk in the mirror? Fine, we'll do a pep talk in the mirror. Wake up. Um, oh, we don't have a mirror. All right, we got to get a mirror. If we're going to do pep talks in the mirror, we need to have a mirror. See, this is, this is a lot like when my house burned down. Like, you don't realize the things you need until you need them. Like, you don't remember what items you have lost until you go to use them and then realize they're not there and then you're like oh crap now we got to go out to buy like a spork and you're thinking to yourself man i wish i had known i needed a spork but you never remember that you need a spork you know like that's just not not a thing you're gonna remember all right let's do that give yourself a pep talk no 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 go do the pep talk all right you guys are cool you're having your breakfast that's fine yeah Pep yourself up, bro. We're going to university. We're going to be successful. We're going to go to college. Let's go. That's right. You can do it. Tell yourself you can do it. Look in that mirror. Give yourself that pep talk. Be like, yeah. Uh-huh. It'd be so crazy if, like, me, the camera, were visible over his shoulder as, like, a ghost that only, like, he could see. Oh, that would mess with him so bad. All right. You feeling better? Good. That's what I like to see. My man. All right. You need to use the potty. And then you need to grab some breakfast. All right. Grab a servant of the breakfast. Let's do that. All right. Talo's doing Talo things. Um, you should get some more breakfast, bro. Oh, hang on. Yeah. Well, we know that. We know you're going to go to work. We got time before work. But you really do need to, like, get some food in you. Um, okay. Peely doing her thing. We'll give her some space. Uh, all right. Me. Food. Cool. Good stuff. I like what's going on here. We got food going on. We got doing things let's just check on her now what's next for her uh probably get cleaned up real quick um ah wait a second i only got them a bathtub i didn't get them a bathtub and a shower we might have to start start using that more that might we might have to make some changes there 
Um, so yeah, while Gustel sits there and chats with me, we're good. Yep. All right, we cool. Uh, I want you to go to work. Oh, we can work from home. That's an option. That's interesting. Um, oh, hang on. I want to make sure that I have their job times right. Oh, crap. Tao needs to go to work. He actually needs to be at work. Okay. <laughs> he actually needs to work from home. Um, okay. Yeah, we're not going to do that. Um, so he is going to have to work. Can he work from home? Did I what did, did I just like miss my job because I didn't tell it to go crap? I'm so used to the way the old game worked. You, you used to just like have a car come pick you up outside. It's I'm so boomering this right now. Um All right, let's see. Let's see what I can do. Yeah. More choices. Is there the option to work from here? No. So I wonder go to work. Yeah. You better go to work, dude. You're just going to have to go. Yeah, you didn't get the best uh, shower before you went to work, but that's okay. Um, we're going to have to make sure we start waking him up earlier then. Oh, well, pretty soon I'm just going to be out of here. Uh, Pilly starts working about an hour. Yes, she does. And so she's all ready to go. I think we could just get her out of here pretty soon. All right. Um, yeah, you know what? You can just go to work. And okay, and that leaves me. So, oh, look at what a helpful guy I am cleaning up all the plates. I do that in real life. I'm, I'm a good dude like that. Yeah, let's uh, let's put away. And I'm I'm like full bars, so we need to now go somewhere. Like, let's see how to get places. So, I want to go. I remember you used to be able to like order a taxi and stuff too. It's been so long since I played this. It's kind of oh hey, what's up? Uh, send you a free sample of our product. Hits the earbuds. Um. I don't know. This sounds like a scam. I don't know if I trust it. I don't want free earbuds. I'm going to call that a scam. All right. Let's see then. Where? How do I get out of here? I'm like, okay, travel. Oh, no. Hang on. All right. We want to make sure we... I think we need Peely to go to work first before we do that. Um, okay. There. That's done then. Oh wait, are you gonna tell me I can't like visit? I can't travel? I mean, oh wait, hang on, it gave me the option there. Weird. All right, let's see how we travel to, I wanna go see the universities. So the universities are, I think in this world, the Brightchester world, yeah, yeah. So there's the Foxbury Institute on the left, there's the University of Brightchester on the right, and then there's this like central area that's kind of like in between both and is sort of like the town. So like, I think that'd be cool. Nightsy Games, um, yeah, what's up? Sorry if I have missed you there, Nightsy. I've just uh, been stuck to, glued to this game for a minute. I haven't checked the chat in a bit. Um, so way over here, on my other monitor. Um, so yeah, I, I used to play Sims a lot, man. I've played Sims a long time. It's just that I have not played Sims 4 in forever, and it's like a whole different game from what I remember. So, uh, so I think maybe it would make sense to start out over here. Let's like just check out the uh, university, right? Let's go to like Larry's Lagoon. And... All right. Nobody else. Yeah, I don't need to go with anybody else. Let's just go check it out. All right, we're gonna go check out that Foxbury Institute area. I want to see. I want to see if this is the right college for me. You know, I want to see if like. This is where I should go to college. So this is Larry's Lagoon. Seems like a little commons area, like a little eatery. We got a little table here. Um, boy, nobody is here. It is just vacant. It's a little weird, you know? Um, ooh, sit in on a skill class. Okay, so you could like actually go take classes here. Interesting, this is a cool little place. I mean, I think it looks nice. Hey, there's somebody. A couple people. All right, so some people are starting to show up. Maybe we'll meet some cool college people. Let's see, what else do we got around here? Let's see, how far can we zoom out? All right, so there's like this building. Okay, so I could just, I could like go to classes. There's university housing, okay. And then there's a game center, an esports game. Oh, cool, that's dope. There's esports. 
university housing. Okay, so I wonder if it's gonna make me go somewhere else. Let's see. All right, there's my man here. Um, juice pong, nice. I see what you did there. All right, Miko Ojo. Let's go talk to these people. Let's uh, let's go say what's up. Let's see what this community is like. You know, let's see if these people are actually like cool people that we want to hang out with. Hey, what's up? You got a dog on your shirt? That's cool. And you're like working here, I guess, because. What do we got here on this menu? Yeah, we got something here. Looks like a burger. We got some juices. We got Simlish. I, it's weird. I don't think I've ever looked at the Sim language up close like this before. But yeah, it's uh, it's kind of like some sort of backwards Russian. Sounds like a narc. Yeah, man. I know what you mean. Uh, so that's cool. Hey, who's that guy? Yeah. What's up, bro? Let's, let's say, say what's up without making it awkward or anything. Like, I see you there with your really crazy mustache. Oh, Carl Musty. What's up, guys? I don't go to school here or anything. I'm just hanging out for the day. I'm just checking people out, seeing what you guys are up to. You definitely are teaching something. You're probably teaching, like, women's studies or, like, yeah, some sort of gender course for sure. I can tell. Um, all right, what else we got going on here? So this seems like a cool place to hang out. I like that. Um, what's What's this here? Get university info. Um, oh, okay. There's all sorts of stuff here. Organization events. What do we got? Like, let's see if they can go get some intel on this place. There's a little kiosk, a little a little stand for the with some info. Let's go get that info. Why? Why am I? Not, oh, there we are. I'm just moving kind of slow. All right. That's cool. Let's see what we got. Okay. So, obviously, I have to be in the university, right? But this is a good way to get an idea of whether you want to go to a school or not. Check out their extracurricular activities. What else do they offer? I mean, you're not just going to sit there and learn all day. So, what else are you going to do? So, like, the Brainiacs, well, they do learn all day. That's what they want to do as a study session. Hey, good for them. You know, I appreciate you taking your stuff seriously. Why party when you could study instead? Exactly, right? Not my vibe. Bot savants. The brilliance of inventing can be exhausting. The mind memes times are recharging up bot savants bar night. Okay. And then the spirit squad. Who likes juice? Who likes to mingle? Foxberry likes to mingle. I like that. I like that right now. I'm, I'm feeling that vibe. Oh, and we got info from the other one. Interesting. Okay. You know what? Like the fuck. So look, the bright Chester guys kind of seem like the sort of douchier group to be honest right now like i'm sort of getting that ivy league vibe off of bright chester kind of getting that like oh we're so elegant we're so bright chester i'm not sure it's the right place for me i still gotta go check it out still gotta go figure it out we got we got all day here to do this um but i'm not sure how i feel about that uh yeah so can i buy university items what do we got Okay, all right, cool. There's like posters and bicycles and computer science books and stuff like that. That's cool. Okay, so I can get some. Okay, so this is like the school store basically. Yeah, villainy course book. Oh man, 700 bucks for a course book. Jeez, that's expensive, man. A $700 textbook, that's actually pretty realistic. Um, okay, university apparel. What do we got? Oh, let me get, yeah, you know what? Let me get a hat. Let me, let me get a hat. Let's see what happens if I put this hat on and then I go to the other one. Yeah. All right. Cool. I got some swag. Um, let's check out the residences. Like it said, I could visit university housing. So yeah, I'm, uh, it's cool. I don't need to bring anybody else. Let's just go and check it out. All right. So, okay. So this is like, is this in fact a residence that I can go to? Like, where am I? You're down here. Be checked in. Can we can we check in? Said okay. So like what do I do? Go upstairs. Yeah, let's go upstairs. Where are we gonna go? Oh, snap is like this up here. Okay. So we got some bedrooms. Um I wonder if I could just live here 
and not like pay anything. If I could just sleep in these beds yeah. and see what happens. Uh, here's people here that live here. We got Kendall MacArthur. We got Lorenzo Spear. So we got some co-ed dorms. This is like cool little... Oh, look at me just snooping around somebody's bookshelf, like not even caring at all. Um, all right, yeah. Well, I mean, you want to? I guess you want to see the books, right? You want to see what these people got. All right, so we got little desks. We got like some cool fox brie, like bedding on that guy's bed. We got another room with that poster. Cool, I like that. What else we got in here? That's our elevator. We got our bathrooms with a couple stalls. That's good. That's convenient. Yeah, this is a good, efficient bathroom. I like it. So this this is like I don't know how how much this really represents like a typical residence hall. I guess it could be kind of like a residence hall. It makes sense. Why don't you go say hi to these people, right? And give yourself a little say what's up. Let's go meet some people. Say hello. See what it is. Yeah, what's up, people? Hi. Now that you've sat down for me, I can say hello. Uh, yeah, I'm just a strange dude who just kind of rolled up. Don't worry about it. Don't don't mind me. I'm just visiting the campus, checking it out, looking at your dorms, observing your food, maybe thinking about grabbing a serving of roast chicken because it's here. I mean, uh, you put food in front of me, I'm going to eat it, okay? We've established that. So if we're going to talk to Kendall and uh, Hakeem, then we're going to get a little bit of roast chicken. I mean, that's that looks like pretty good chicken. That looks. I mean, it's not Don Tito's chicken. It's not. It's not Don Tito's, but it's. It looks pretty good. I'd say that looks like a. That looks like a Rokey's chicken. Oh, well, it's pretty chunky. I mean, it might be better than a Rokey's chicken. I don't know. Um, yeah, look at me. Look at me go. Standing up and eating it. Don't care. No problem. Not an obstacle at all. You put food in front of me. I'm gonna eat it. Just get with the program. Don't, if you don't want me to eat your chicken, don't put your chicken right there. That's just mistake number one. You put that chicken out, I'm eating it, okay? So just recognize. I like the dope vibes. All right, I'm done eating this. Clean that up. Good. Yeah. Um, let's use, let's test out one of their bathrooms. Like, because I think you should. Oh, I can prank the toilet, bro. I can prank the toilet. That's what I should do. I should prank that toilet. Hug someone. I don't know if there's anybody you should hug here, bro. What else? You want to talk to Pili? Buy a pool. Man, my guy got some ambitions. Um, let's let's go to the other place and then maybe we'll prank their toilet. Like, let's see what's up. All right, cool. I say we uh, we travel. Okay. I think we've checked out Foxbury a little bit. I like the vibes at Foxbury. I feel like Foxbury could be a good fit. We saw. Um, Okay, so we were here in the residences, and okay, so that's only for students, and then we were at Larry's Lagoon, so we've, we've seen some spots, all right? Now, the question is, what's going on at the other school, at uh, Brightchester? All right, so I can't go to these places. Interesting, so like, okay. There are certain places that are just for the students, right? But then there is like, okay, Dar Darby's Den would be like the the common space over Brightchester. So we can go check out Brightchester. All right, let's check out Darby's Den. What do you got? All right, a lot of traits. It's, uh, it's got traits. I don't know what those are. That's cool, but there's, all right. Now look at that. Uh, yeah, this is very more London-y. Um, yeah, yeah, okay, this is like your classic Ivy League looking joint. Interesting, all you can do here is research. Um, yeah, okay, and all of the, okay, and this stuff is kind of related to some of the courses that they offered, I see, that's interesting. Practice debating, let's go. Like, anybody want to throw down? Let's see what's up. You guys say you got this debate club. You guys are such master debaters. I want to see what you got. Let's, let's see your... You going to get in there? Oh, this guy's just in awe of my debate skills. He's just like, oh my God, I got to listen to this dude. Listen to the words of reason coming out of this man's mouth. He is dropping the knowledge. He's making it rain arguments and facts and just blowing my mind with his freaking brain. And uh, I'm glad you're, you know, you're enjoying it, sir. Uh, it is getting a little late, man. That took up more time, that travel, than I thought it would. I guess going across town is like that. Um, all right, so this chick over here. Oh, I, is this the same person? Because I think it is. 
I think it's like, I wonder if it's just the same chick that works. This girl's insane. Is she working both? She's working both canteens, man? Add a little spice. Oh, yeah, let's add a little spice. You know, just a little spice. Let's just make it spicy. Just a little. I like spicy food. Okay, cool. I think that's enough Enough of you talking to yourself. That That's good. You don't want your ego to get any bigger than it already is, dude. You know we got issues with that. So let's just. Uh, yeah. All right. Wibasook. Wibasook. Let me, let me uh, give her a heartfelt compliment. I'm a nice guy. I want to be nice. Hey, listen, I know you caught me spicing the food. I know you saw me being a bit of a jag off. But look, look, I'm here. Yeah. Working on my charisma. And besides, you always want to get in good with the lady that works off the lunch. You know, like, if you got a girl that's working off the lunch, you want to, like, you want to get in with that person because that person will hook you up with that free food. I think we should propose a crazy scheme. That sounds like something I would do. All right, hear me out. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to steal the Declaration of Independence, but we're going to do it exactly like the movie. All right, exactly like Nicolas Cage did, okay? Because if we do it, listen, no one will expect us to do it exactly like the film. What do you think? You in? Okay, I'm back. I'll see you at 7 p.m. All right, see? I'm glad she bought it. All right. Um, this place does look kind of stuffy, though. What is this guy's deal? What is... He's like... What's up? He's just oozing like light bulbs and pluses. He's just a freaking big brain over here. Look at all these other people. All right. Yeah. I'm very confident. I am rolling right now. This place is beautifully decorated. It's got a cozy fire and I had really good food. So I'm just in an awesome mood. I've been like, this is convivial. A spacious but intimate atmosphere makes things confident. Man, so this place is like stimulating my brain. Jeez, you gotta love it. I mean, I will give them that. The decor in this place does kind of make me feel smarter. You know? Like, look, it's got pictures of old people. See? That's how you know a place is good. If you're looking at universities, you want to look for pictures of old people. You know? Or like, I mean, not the people being old, but like the, the people are old, relatively speaking, to today. Like, I'm not saying you want to see like a bunch of 70-year-olds in the portraits. I mean, like, you want to see people from a long time ago. Because that's how you know something's good. Okay? Just a fun fact. Um, little known piece of college counseling advice. You know, if you find the place that has the old people in it, it's probably pretty good. All right. Um, we got chess boards outside. Let's see what else. Whoa, what's this chick doing? Let's go talk to her. What's up? Whoa, she's got a fame shine. She's like a shiny Pokemon. I want to see this person. What in the heck? That's crazy. She's got like, she literally glows. I never knew that people could glow like that. That's pretty cool. I mean, imagine if you literally in real life got so famous that you just started glowing. Like, you had a natural radiance around you. You're basically like the surface of the sun. You're emitting solar energy from your body because that's how important you are. Like, that's cool. I wish I could do that. Um, let's see. These people apparently were trying to draw a person. This one's like a little more like bah, and This one's a little more like bah, And then we got like, yeah. Oh, this one sucks. I like this one. I like that this person was trying and didn't do a good job. And then, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go straight to it. I want to ask you for a picture. I want to get your, like, you know, why am I tense? Stranger danger. Oh, I'm, I'm a loner, Sim. I need to take a bath. All right, but look, I want to get a picture, so it's fine. Yeah, we're good. We got a picture. Be cool. Don't, don't worry about being a loner. All right. This place is kind of cool, though. I gotta give them credit. Like, cool things are happening here. Um, is there any other spots on campus that I can go? I mean, this place, yeah, this place has that very English, very, like, Hogwartsy vibe. Um, so we have housing that we can go check out. All right. We got more skill class buildings. And what's over here? All right, another school building. Like, okay. Again, we can also do sports events when those are happening. That's cool. Okay, so basically the same layout at both colleges. Like, there's a sort of a social building. And then there's like university housing buildings. What I don't understand, I'm a little tense. It's all right, buddy, relax, you know? What I don't quite understand here is like, where would I go to eat? Is this, cause, oh no, that's right. Yeah, they got this space here. So I guess like, all right, I think we're good here. I, I think we've scoped out both places. I think it's time for us to travel again. Let's go. 
Let's go to the middle zone. I want to see what's in the middle of these two places. Like, all right. So there's Pepper's Pub, University Studio. Hang out, honey. It feels pleasant. Okay, so there's some homes in this area as well. Good to know. Uh, the library between the two. Interesting. Well, we don't want to go to the library right now. We want to go to the bar. Let's see what's going on in the bar. Um, and then we'll uh, we'll swing back home and see what's up. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, Pepper's Pub. Let's just see what's going on in Pepper's. Yeah, let's get me a beverage. Um, make a drink. Make a drink. What do we got? Sweet and spicy, soft shadow of Ortolan, Lino, River Blot. No, that stuff's. Oh, what the heft of beer? All right. Juice on the rocks. Barley bale. Root beer float. Buffalo wing tea. Dang, a flaming zesty salt. That sounds good. Let's make one of those. I want a flaming zesty salt. Um, all right, let's see. I like how there's no service here. You just go make bar, make it all yourself, and it's fine. Nobody cares. That's just the kind of bar this is. We all, It's the honor system here in Simland. You know, it makes you wonder how they keep order in the city. Um, all right. Yeah. Now this isn't for you, by the way, honey. I'm making this for myself, so don't don't even think about it. Okay? Don't even think about it. All right. In a bush. I mean, maybe I'll make you one just because I'm in a good mood. And jeez, uh, I mean, they really man it didn't go easy on you. Look at this. Everybody's lining up to see me make drinks. All right. Well, you know that is the rule of the bar. Whoa! Look at that. All right. Drink. Drink. Let's go. Let's go. Drink responsibly, kids. If you guys do, you know, don't drink and drive. Obviously, this game is not drinking alcohol. This is actually not alcohol. This is just like, this is juice, okay? We're drinking juice. It's a game. Don't don't get mad at me, all right? But I am going to try that thing that was on fire. Because, like I said, if you put it out in front of me, I'll eat it. Or drink it. No limits. No rules. Okay. Feeling pretty good? Let's see how that does. All right. Still a little tense. Not enjoying all the strangers. Um, I want to vent to somebody, but man, I don't think I should vent to any of these people. That's rude. Oh, hey, what's up? You're the redhead. Uh, how you doing? Nina Caliente. What's up? Um, I got some questions for you, Nina. Like, I mean, let's start with your, with your number. That's the first question I have. What is your number? Um, I'd like to get to know you. Um, I just, yeah, I was doing your job, by the way, Nina, because you weren't here. Uh, I'm not trying to be rude, but like, you know... You kind of could have been here when I was trying to do my thing, and you didn't. So, I had to do my job. Um, perform romance scene for tips. Okay, so apparently you could just start, like, doing stuff out in the middle of nowhere. I mean, we don't... I don't ask to see outfit. That's not very friendly, if you ask me. Uh, what else we got here? A risky question. Ask her single. Uh, let's compliment her appearance right away. I mean, that just seems like that makes sense. I, I want to be honest with her. I think she's a good-looking person. So, um, I know you're busy with that conversation over there, but listen, I'm not... I don't care. All right. You know what? I think that's pretty good. Let's let's go use this banyo right here. And uh, we'll, we'll probably get out of here. My man's, my man's getting real stressed. He's not the best around people. He's been locked up in the pandemic for a while. You know, he's still dealing with some social anxieties that he's got to get rid of. So, all right, cool. Let's uh, let's get the the poo out of here. Let's let's bail. All right, I think it's time to bail. All right, so we'll bail and go back home. I'm in a Newcrest. Yeah, yeah. Let's go back home. Let's let's tell Tabo and Pili all about my day. So, we have seen a couple universities. I think that's pretty cool. Um, I like I like some things about Brightchester. It was better than I anticipated it being, to be honest. It, I, I didn't think I would like it as much as I did. Just like, you know. Um, let's just, yeah. Let's share some photos. Let me let me show her the picture I got of the celebrity person that was glowing radiantly. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. I got a selfie with a crazy like lady that glue in the daytime. <laughs> Yeah, isn't that cool? I know. Pretty neat, right? So, yeah. Let's talk a little bit. Alright, Tal's looking good. Pig's looking good. They took good care of themselves today, it seems. 
Nothing to worry about there. Um. All right, looks like we're just gonna crash. Yeah, I think that's about right. All right, cool. Good stuff, people. Um, do we have any? Do we have food? Yeah, get the leftovers, bro. You should have. You should have something to eat. Um. Yeah, and you can watch some stuff on TV. Tell. I assume you've been productive today, right? Let's let's see what we can. Uh, what channels we should watch here? Listen, romance, more choices. Cooking channel. I feel like the cooking channel is good. Let's. Uh, what else? Instead of public access, kids network news, weather forecast, sports, world culture network. Feel a rush of culture. Um, hmm. All sorts of options. I don't know if any of these will actually do anything useful. I, I know the cooking channel does, so I tend to put that on. That's always like a good fail-safe move. All right, you can clean up your leftovers. It's probably about time for you to hit the hay. <clears throat> what else we got? Check your timeline. Yeah, we want to stay off social media. That's no good for anyone. Um, computers. Oh, we should get like another light here. That's that's that would be nice. You know. Another little light for the house. Let's just see what you got. I feel like, yeah, we need like a little light right here. Yeah, that's better. Gotta have your lights. You don't wanna be in a dimly lit room. I don't know if you guys wanna appreciate it. I did do a little bit of interior design here, nothing major. I always like to sleep in a red room, so I made sure to give myself one of those. And you know, I'm a big fan of stonework in the bathrooms and stuff, so that's, that's how I roll. All right, it's Pilly sleeping. That was, that was just watching some TV. Dow, why don't you clean up that plate for Pilly and be a good good husband, you know? I think that would be smart. And then, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, let's see. Dow's a night owl in real life. Unfortunately, he has to get up freaking early. Um, he's the one who has a job at 8, so we need to get his butt up a little earlier tomorrow. I think, um, yeah, I think you could, you know what? Let's just get a little, like, a little bit of social social stuff happening here. Yeah, let's uh, socialize. Chat with Banco Jang. He seems like a cool guy. Somebody should be friends with him. <clears throat> yeah, so we'll give him a little bit of that. And then I think I think we got to go to bed. You got to go to bed. All right, say goodbye to Jacko. Cool. All right, bed. Now, if he's going to get up at... He's got to get to work at 8 today. We don't want to be late again for work. That's not a good look. Um, okay, I don't know why it stopped me there. But okay, it did. Um, what? An incoming text at the middle of the night. Whoa, 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 bro. A lovely neck you have there. That's creepy, bro. In the middle of the night, you blowing up Peely and like uh, talking about her neck? That's weird. Whoa, dude. Okay. This game's obsession with what definitely are vampires is disconcerting. I'm not. Look. Guys, this is not acceptable behavior at any stage of your life, but especially not if you're going to college. Like, don't dress up in black and like dye your hair white and then like stand up in front of people's doors at 3 a.m. in the rain. Like, don't ever do that. That's not a good idea at any point in your existence. I do not recommend that. Um, I think we're just going to ignore this guy because I don't like him. Um, all right. I think we want to tell him to get up around like 6 because he's going to need to make breakfast and pee. And then, actually, maybe even now. Because eh, the, the weird thing about this game, so, like, the thing that's so difficult, I find, about The Sims is, like, little things... Oh take longer than they should right like like it takes you 15 20 minutes to go to the bathroom right because like every second is a minute which doesn't make a lot of sense now when you're dealing with like going to work it makes perfect sense but when you're talking about things that are like oh i just had to like go pee and it took me half an hour like that doesn't make a lot of sense to anyone um but yeah we got these leftovers they're providing good nutrition for for tavo here so you can go to work responsibly today um All right, Peely. Yeah, Peely's doing good. Um, all right. You're good. Yeah, clean that up. Thank you. And let's have you... 
use the use the toilet. That's great, wonderful. So you're in really good shape here. I would say wash your face. Let's just see. Um, let's get psyched up. I think that's good to get psyched up. Yeah, yeah, you want to get your people psyched up. I mean, I don't know if you do this every day, but I like to psych myself up a little bit. All right. So, we'll do that. I think we should have you do like a relaxing bath. You know what? You got time for it this morning. You got two hours. Tao, got to get out of here. Um, so, I say that works. Let's, uh... Yeah, we're going to go to work today. Yep, you're going to go to work. Um, so, let's have you... Oh, he wants an umbrella stand. Let's do that. He could use an umbrella stand. I mean, it is rainy and he doesn't like getting rainy, so we'll get him. Oh, it doesn't. Let's see what we got here. Huh. I don't see an umbrella stand in here. TV stands. Other. Maybe this? I don't know. Hmm. I'm not sure where to get an umbrella stand. And I'm looking for umbrella and I'm not seeing anything really. Oh, an umbrella rack. Okay, there we go. Let's see what some of these are. Okay. Aha! Umbrella stand. Alright, cool. We can put that. We, could, we're, we don't have a lot of home space. We're going to have to figure out where we can put this. Um, I'd say we could just slap it right over here. That seems reasonable. All right. Yeah, he likes that. It's a good vibe. I like it. All right. So, can we... Uh, yeah. He'll, he, we said he's going to go to do his job, so that should be fine. All right, so he's going to do that. Be able to get her bath on. You got... What are you making? What are you doing? Eating chips? Man, you're going to eat chips? Like, come on, man. This is not the way to start your day. That is not the breakfast of champions. I mean, I know that, as we've said, I will eat whatever you put out there. But, like, eating chips is not how you're supposed to begin your day. All right, guys? Don't do that. This is another thing we got to talk about in college is like you guys and your eating habits because you're you're probably going to live on chips from time to time. Like you're going to take days where all you do is eat garbage. And it's normal. That's part of life. Uh, part of life is also realizing you shouldn't do that and then actually like going to get leftovers from the day before that are actual food. So, yeah, that's the thing. Um, okay. So, yeah, we got our work schedule. That's cool. Peely's gonna go to work soon too. Um, okay, you gotta you gotta get a plate too. You need to eat something. Yeah, we're gonna go to work. After she eats some food, Tavo's going to work already. Beautiful, love to see it. And then Peely go get some food, so she can go. Wait, where are you doing, fool? Who are you talking to? What are you doing right now? Lord. Research parenting methods. No, no, no. We're not going to do that. We're not going to have any freaking kids. No way. We've already been over this, dude. Why would I want parenting level one? Um, oh, I can reprimand bad behavior by asking the child not to do that action or simply yelling at the child to stop. Okay, well then, this might be useful. I could get parenting skills even though I don't want to have kids so that I can yell at other kids and actually be effective. That's actually not a bad idea. I take it back, game. You you were a step ahead of me. Here I am thinking, why am I researching parenting skills? And sure enough, my virtual version of me is like, no, nah, so that I can tell other stupid kids to shut up. And I think that makes a lot of sense. Uh, so, good job, game. Tell you what, I misread you. I underestimated you. All right. Peter's got to wash a dish and go to work. All right. So that's what's happening now. And there she is. She's off to work. Beautiful. Okay. Um, I think that's where, probably where we're going to leave it today. I, I want to continue to do my applications to college next uh, next week. So 
Yeah, we checked out the two universities. We checked out Foxbury. We checked out Broychester, and uh, this is like day two. So I feel like we got we got a pretty good thing going here. Uh, Pillion Tower at work paying for me to do things just like in real life. So that's cool. Um, and uh, I think we'll save this. Yeah, we'll save the score family. Um, it's been fun, guys. I I'm looking forward to doing these. I'm going to keep doing these on Mondays. Um, I'm not sure. Like, I'll probably interrupt this a little bit with some other stuff. Like, you know, just usual things that we do. Um, if you guys are interested in anything in particular, you can hit me up in the chat. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know if there's something you want me to do. Um, unjust allegation. Gustavo's boss confronts him and starts yelling about a document being late. This isn't the first time his hot-headed boss has blamed him for something he didn't do. Gustavo knows it'll blow over soon, but it's starting to get old. He should ride out the store and defend himself. Tavo wouldn't take that crap. He would tell him he would defend himself. We're going to see what happens. Oh, Gustavo's boss recognizes the mistake and apologizes. They thank him for standing up for himself, pointing out that the grit he displayed is exactly what's needed in their law office. Exactly. I know what I'm doing. I got to save that now. You know? See, this is how good I am at this game. So, yeah, my people, that's that's uh, going to be the show. I'm a... Uh, yeah. So I'll be on, you know, every Monday. I'm planning on continuing streaming like the whole year. I was only taking a break during the holidays and because I was in the States. Um, I want to keep doing this. I think it'll be fun. I want to see if I can get myself through college in this game, doing these Monday nights with you guys. I would do a little more right now, but I actually have like a meeting I have to get to in a little bit. So, yeah, such is life. Um, Thursday is new videos every single Thursday. So all you got to do is just make sure you are, you know, here, subscribed, maybe turn on the notifications if you don't want to miss stuff. We got a lot of cool videos coming out from the trip that I took. I did that little content preview uh, in December, so you can check that out if you want. Um, but that's, yeah, we got a bunch of university episodes, interviews with students, a lot of cool stuff coming out. Might even sprinkle in a couple new countries in there. Lots of cool things. So, uh, yeah, I'm ready to kick it off, man. This is 2022. We're going to the moon. Let's go. Road to 1 billion starts now.